Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Sagittarius, this is a collective uh, reading session for you, Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Sagittarius sign. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Let us see what is coming towards you. What is the guided message for Sagittarius in love? Okay, this is a love message. This is a love reading for such Sagittarius sign. What is the love message for you? Actually, I'm being advised to change or add another deck. Okay. So, what's the guided love message for Sagittarius, please? What's the love message for Sagittarius, please? I'm hearing the word coming out party. Six of Pentacles. What's the love message for Sagittarius? Six of Cups. Six and six. And you've got the Moon card. Love message, Hermit card, okay. The Emperor card, the Emperor is coming. And the Queen of Swords, very logical, okay. The hidden energy, what's coming towards you, you've got the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, let's start your reading. So, you have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. I feel like Sagittarius, you're sitting in an energy where um, Six of Pentacles, this is about balance, you know. The Six of Pentacles is about balance, recalibrating your thoughts, reviewing your action in the past, and comparing it to, like you review something you did, you say, and then you compare it to now, and you're somehow weighing did, it, did I get value out of what I said, out of what I did? If not, I need to change it, okay? Six of Pentacles, it's a practical way. It's, a, it's, it's more of like a check-in balance, okay? You are very practical in terms of looking back into what you said and what you did. And if there's something in what you said, what you did, your behavior, emotionally, mentally, you are going to correct that you know like okay what did i what what sort of what did i say what did i do what is my behavior and if things didn't work that way because of my behavior what i did what i said you're not blaming yourself you're simply looking into my past actions okay and it's connected to love and relationships so you're looking into your past actions reviewing it, reflecting it, and bringing it to now energy, to current energies, to correct it. You know, six of pentacles in here. Because there's a part of you that you don't want to lose this person. Six of cups. You miss this person, the moon card. You realize that you have so much feelings for them. You know, when you disconnected with this person, that is where you realize that I've got so much feelings with this person. Yeah, magician card. It feels like their thoughts, they're gliding through your... I'm kind of picking up that this person, their face would just glide into your... For example, you're doing something, it, they just pop in. Like they they flash and you see their face or for some of you guys you could be walking and then for some reason somehow you you will hear a voice and you would look back you would check that because it sounded like them but it's not them so these are signs synchronicity from the universe that they're still part of your they're still part of your field you know like you have this circle of who you're attracted like this is you imagine there's a circle in here and they're still connected to the circle of energy around you that's connected to you 
they're still part of the energetic circle that is connected with you okay that's why you would have instances of you thought you saw them you thought you hear them or their their face would flash okay like they would glide through your thoughts randomly this person yet ten of pentacles you realizing sagittarius that um you're realizing that um you're realizing that person and yourself if it did work between the two of you um you guys are at the point where this is marriage this is long-term relationship you know like this is the ideal person you want not only that but you know the way you like this person or the way you love this person it's deep it's deeper than what you think i'm kind of picking up that you don't only like them as a lover you also like their personality you like that they are responsible you like how they dress you like how they talk you know for some of them kind of picking up that you would settle to be their friend like you would even settle you would be contented to be to be their friends that's how you look at them in admiration yeah knight of swords I would say you're very very um, you're turned on because this person is so smart they could be younger than you but they they could be younger than you but they could be more mature than you like you I don't know but right now because you were reflecting the actions and the conversation that you did in the past and you're bringing bringing it to now you realize that you actually have a good guy a good like they're this like you realize that this person is decent they're good they're nice what happened to us you know this like this is practical and this is emotional and six of cups you still desire them so your energy comes to me as you're seeing the life cycle you're looking into like go, you're going round and round in a strategic way you're reviewing what happened in the past and you're realizing that this person is decent this person is good it's not bad could be improved i'm not picking up a third party in here this love message is not a third party there could be a little bit of competition but it could just be a dating or getting to know you're not you know that's not it's not a very heavy third party in here yeah four of swords so i would say you and this person you guys are taking a break you guys are not talking so much or it it's also it's also an energy sagittarius where the one that you really like you're not talking to them so much you could have someone as well you could possibly have other options but the one that you really like you're not talking to them yeah devil card could be a capricorn but there's one specific person that you're manifesting you also some you also have someone who you're talking to i don't know maybe you're bored but you also have other opportunities that is i feel in here yeah queen of of course you're the queen of wands you've got options i mean why not you only have one life to live and one of our responsibility with the life that we have right now life is a gift so what do we do with this life we maximize it so if the one that you really like is not available and there's someone is offering you something love interest love attention why not who knows it could develop right so you're being the queen of wands so go go for it you know if someone is offering you love and attention go for it let them love you why not now the person this is the person the hermit card you know what this person who is this person is the person that you really like but they're distance they're quiet they're cold i don't know what's the reason is but the hermit card it's time out between the two of you it's only time out in terms of communication and interaction but 
I really feel like this person, there's a coming out party, the hermit card. Like it's a reading where they're quiet because they're cooking something for you, Sagittarius. Yeah, the moon card. You also have the moon card in here. So they know and you know at some point you will regroup. You know that. And they know they have to get back to you before you lose your interest with them. Look at that. Hermit card again. Confirmation. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. See, I told you guys, the Five of Pentacles, this is the leaving card. This person, they can't stay too... Like this person knows that they can't stay away too long. Because if they do, you will completely forget about them. So this person is having a coming out party. There would be a lot of starting, starting next week, not only in love, but there is a lot of invitation. You will stock up your calendar. I'm seeing your calendar having lots of invite. Sagittarius, Emperor card. The High Priestess. I would say the universe is looking after you. The universe is looking after you. The universe notice that you are ready because you have reflected your action. I would say... You are a Sagittarius that you know the right behavior, the mature behavior. And you will apply that to a love connection that would come your way. And this is that. So the, un the universe, high priestess, something is going to be activated. There's a lot of energy coming through. I'm kind of picking up that you will be very, very active in the next two weeks up until the first week of the next month you will be very active you would have a lot of invites connected to restaurant um shopping karaoke i don't know but you will take even lots of photos something tells me you have a coming out party it means that from hermit card you'll come out and you're ready to come out your lovers your friends your comrades felt that, okay, our social butterfly, Queen of Wands, the Sagittarius coming out. Let's book some meeting invites. You will be very socially active. You will be seen out and about. There you go, Eight of Wands. I see you moving a lot. And as you move out of the Six of Pentacles in here, the something's going to be restored. I would say this weekend you feel like you miss connecting to the world to your friends to something fun you want to maximize your time i'm kind of picking up that maybe you're not busy maybe this week is a week that okay i'm not so busy i want to catch up with life explore shopping explore friends restaurant hopping road trips you have a coming out party you're going to be busy with that queen of wands and then also somehow because you're putting yourself high priestess you're putting out you're putting yourself out there to be out and about to be curious to explore you've got this lover coming and another one this queen of swords the hermit card they're very smart like it's they're no longer a player emperor card queen of swords they want to clarify something towards you the closest love interest is possibly, um, I'm kind of picking up it's a Wednesday or a Thursday. It's, it's a work week and it's a Wednesday and it's a Thursday. This person is coming to you very serious. They would probably say hi, hello to you, but you're very playful. They want to know one thing. They're the king of cups. When this person approached you, the hidden energy is the king of cups. They want to know if they want to know if you want to date them. They want to know if you will forgive them. Like they want to know if will you forgive me? Will you accept my sorry because if you do, will you accept my sorry? Will you full will you accept my sorry? Will you full forgive me if you do? I will pursue you, Queen of Swords. Because if they feel like you're not going to like this person if you if you will keep on playing cupid to them like 
something tells me whoever this person is, they will pursue you if they know that they've got a chance. Like they want to know, will you forgive me? Will you take my apology? Will you accept me back? You know, they will ask you a question. Something connected, it's not exactly like that, but somehow that, somehow the conversation, somehow this person will lead you into a question or a conversation where it felt like that. That will you accept me? Will you accept my apology? Will you let me in? Like they're kind of asking you a permission. If you say, if you say yes, I would let you in. I would, let's try. So for them, it's like a consent that they will pursue you because you will accept them. Okay? But if they feel like you cannot answer their question directly, then they won't pursue you. Because it's a queen of swords, very logical gonna ask you question or it's going to make I would say they will leave the con they will lead they will sorry guys the mic they will lead the conversation into something straightforward like they want your consent can I come back to you will you accept my apology will you allow me to connect with you will you will you and I date and getting to know if you say yes they will pursue you but if you fizzle out or if you give them undecisive energy they will probably pour their heart out with work or they will not be focused on you but this person is willing to put a lot of effort and pursue you if you guys will give each other each other's consent like consenting yeah, Ace of Swords, exactly. There's something with this person that, okay, will you forgive me? If you say yes, okay, let's try again Three of Cups. At least I know that I've got a chance. Because the, the last thing that they want to happen is that they, they will make a lot of effort pursuing you and then you won't forgive them or you won't let them in. Like as early, it's very practical and logical, the Queen of Swords. I mean, I've got feelings for you, but I don't want to use my feelings as a basis to come back to you. I, I also would like to be logical. I don't want to waste my time and your time. So Queen of Swords, if you will forgive me, I will pursue you. Like they want to know in the very first part if they have a chance. If they don't have a chance, if they feel like you are very indecisive with your reply, with your respond, then they won't pursue you. Ace of Swords, they're very solid. Like they, before they proceed, they want to ask you a question. They want to ask your con consent. Yeah, Five of Swords. Five of Swords, the Page of Swords. Something tells me this person's like, it makes sense. I ask you, will you forgive me? If no, then what's the point of pursuing you if you won't forgive me? If you say no, you won't forgive me. And you want me to pursue you. That's not fair. Yeah, Nine of Swords. The Sun card. They want you and them to be relaxed. They really want to get to know you again. But this is a straightforward. I want to get to know you as a lover. I also have the same. It has a similar vibe with Scorpio reading. Where I don't want you to be my friend. I want you to be my lover. All of the effort and action coming from me, it's all about being a lover, not a friend, period, whoever this person is. So this is your reading, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to further connect with me, Sagittarius, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. And for private reading, for the merchandise, everything is processed on the website. And thank you for the love notes. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. I will connect with you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye, Saj.